Hello, hello, you there. Welcome to the vocal class for Golden Touch Music Academy. My name is Comfort Austin, and I'll be your teacher, your vocal coach. <laughs> Can you sing? Can anybody sing? Yes, of course. In Paraventure, you've never sang before? Not to worry. We're starting right from the scratch to take you through the journey of improving your voice and make you a good vocalist. What is singing? Singing simply means sustained speech. And as I told you, if you can talk, you can sing. So sustained speech that is guided by musical notes. Now, once it's guided by your musical notes, you're singing. We have two types of speech. We have the speaking voice, two types of voice. I'm speaking right now, and I will sing now. I am singing. Now, I'm singing, and I'm talking. So you have your speaking voice, and you have your singing voice. So how this sounds come about, what and what do you really need to put your sounds in place so that you can sing? You all know that if you're a farmer, you need your farming tool. If you're a mechanic, you need your tools. If you're a teacher, you need your tools. Everybody have their various equipment they use to put in place in order to be professionally whom they are. So if you want to be a singer, you need to know what you need. You don't need your legs. You just need to know how to talk and then get to understand those parts of your body that helps you produce your sound. Then you would be able to produce your sound accurately and they will be well defined. Now, how is your voice produced? How is your sound produced? Everyone has a pair of vocal cords. Place your hand on your throat, right here in front. You have your larynx. It's easier for the male, because we do call them in this place, this part of the world, Adam's apple. And of course, once they swallow or they're talking, you could easily see that larynx moving. But for ladies, you might have to place your hands on your throat and gog or try to swallow something. You feel the movement. Can you try it with me? Right? Now you can feel the movement. Your larynx is sitting on the windpipe. Now, once you take in air through your nose, it passes through and your vocal fold vibrates as a result of the air that passes through. Now, at the opening, there is your glittles. Just assume if you want to get into a house, there's a gate, there's a door for you to get in. So just at the entrance, there's a glittles that opens and then take in the air. So it's an involuntary action that takes place in your voice box. Either call it your larynx or your voice box. So that involuntary action is expected that once you take in air, you will definitely exhale. Once you inhale, you definitely exhale. So it's the vibration on your vocal cord that produces your sound. The articulators, which is your oral cavity and your nasal cavity, helps you to shape the sound in such a way that you get what you really want to hear. Now, Let's yawn without even placing our hands on our neck and we'll observe the movement. Just go before a mirror right now and or hold one with you and try to yawn. Can you do that with me? Let's try it together. Now, you would observe that the larynx is moving. So it's a vocal warm-up on its own. Every part of your body that we would be showing you in this first class for you to get to know how to put them together for you to sing properly are at the same time a way of warming up yourself before you sing. Now, another part of your body I need you to pay attention to is your tongue. You need your tongue for articulation. That's when the sound is being produced. Remember we said your voice sound is produced either when you're speaking or when you're singing as a result of the vibration resulting from the vibration on your vocal cords. Now, use that same tongue to touch the top of the roof of the tongue. You could wash your hands before you do this or try to do it with your tongue or use your hands, make sure it's clean and try to touch the roof. It's called the hard palate. Now, when you try to go in, 
the space between, there's, there's a cuff at the end of your hard palette that cuffs in a bit. Now, just a little space that differentiates your nasal cavity from the space to your oral cavity is called the soft palate. Please ensure you download and then you practice and always give me your feedback so that I can assess you and be able to know how well you've improved on your voice. See you in the next class. Bye.